His team even showed you could control these structures by heating and cooling the material in a magnetic field. Plus, and this is important for actually doing stuff with it, manganese telluride is a known material. Scientists already know how to make high quality samples. That's a huge advantage. No need to invent a whole new material from scratch. Exactly. It speeds things up immensely. Okay, so this brings us to the big question. Why is finding a new type of magnetism such a big deal for technology? What's the potential payoff here? Right, so current computers fundamentally store information using electric charge. Think of it as charge or no charge, representing a one or a zero. It works incredibly well, obviously, but it has limits. But there's this idea, spintronics, yeah. using the electron spin, the up or down, not just its charge. Precisely. Spintronics is the dream. If you could use spin, theoretically, you could cram way more information into memory, make devices much faster, and use a lot less energy. It's like a potential revolution for computing. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. What's the holdup? Well, the big hurdle for spintronics has always been needing something called a spin splitting effect. You need to be able to separate electrons based on their spin up or down into different energy levels or pathways. Okay. Anna Helene's, one of Maycall's colleagues, has a nice analogy. Imagine a ballroom full of dancers. Normally, they're all mixed up, but with spin splitting, it's like the dancers spinning clockwise can separate from the dancers spinning counterclockwise and dance in their own groove.